Race overview. Every cycling race is different, and every rider has a chance to win. Today, we're going to look at the different races that make up the 2023 cycling calendar. The Grand Tours. The three Grand Tours are the most watched by the public and are the longest cycling races in the annual calendar. They take place over 21 stages and over a total of 23 days. Riders cycle for over 3,000 kilometers and try to finish the race in the shortest time possible. The three Grand Tours take place on the same dates every year and feature the top peloton riders. The first Grand Tour of the season is the Tour of Italy. Starting at the beginning of May, the riders in the best form at the start of the season compete in this race and set out to win the highly coveted pink jersey warned by the leader in the general classification. Taking place in the summer, the Tour de France is the second Grand Tour in the cycling season. From the 1st to the 23rd of July 2023, the cyclists race along French roads following the most challenging stages of the calendar as they compete for the yellow jersey. The Tour of Spain closes the Grand Tour season with another long event. From mid-August to the beginning of September, the Spanish summer offers a tough test for the riders who will need strong adaptability if they are to finish first in the general classification and to win the red jersey. Over a total of 21 stages, all riders have a chance to win. Every type of stage is included. Those suited to sprinters, climbers and punchers, which allows for different race scenarios and a lot of variety over the three weeks. The Shorter Tours More numerous but shorter, these tours are one-week races that take place in smaller countries or certain regions around the world. Over a total of seven or eight stages, riders have very little time to open a lead from their opponents and win the general classification. These shorter tours are less balanced and sometimes focus on certain specializations which means not everyone has a chance to shine. Some of these races are more geared towards climbers and others for sprinters, but some are balanced and have an ideal blend of flat stages and mountain stages. For example, the Criterium du Dauphiné and Paris-Nice are races that allow climbers to shine. For many riders, the shorter tours are used as preparation for the Grand Tours, and are useful for getting ready to face the world's top riders. The Classics The Classics are the biggest one-day races still running and are important for professional cyclists' rankings. There are five of these prestigious races and the events start end-to-end -end within a single day. A Classic is defined by the difficulty of its route and by how long it has been included in the cycling calendar. More than 250 kilometers long, the Classics require strong endurance and the ability to handle unusual terrain, cobbles, mountains, gravel. Here are two of the most famous Classics. Paris-Roubaix, also called the Hell of the North. Taking place in the north of France, this race is over 100 years old and requires bold riders to race on more than 50 kilometers of cobblestones and a total of 250 kilometers. Liège, Bastogne, Liège. The old lady of the classics is known for its difficulty and series of mountains. There are more than 10 steep climbs, which soon separate the weakest from the strongest. Preparation races. The last race type is the one day race. These races are important for preparing riders for the Grand Tours. Lasting just one day, riders need to maintain their intensity for a whole day which gives them valuable information on their physical fitness. Used for preparation, but still prestigious, these races require significant adaptability. They are very different from each other, and the difficulty depends entirely on the location of the race. There are cobblestones to deal with in the north of Europe, while in the south, the heat and hills are the riders' worst enemies. These races generally suit punchers and climbers, and very few offer the chance for sprinters to shine. Overall, the various races are spread out evenly in the calendar and provide a lot of variety during the cycling season. 
Every race is important to the riders and offers a chance to add an achievement to their list of honours.